Hey everyone, so I am here to share with you our July budget and cash envelopes video. So I'm gonna go over electronic sinking funds first and then I'm gonna show you our cash box and how much cash we're getting this month. So starting with electronic sinking funds, um, this is the first month that we don't have to put anything into a college sinking fund. I'm so excited about this. Um, we officially have enough money in that account to finish paying for my husband's final semester of school. Uh, usually we put $500 every single month into that account. Last month we put more. Um, so it really just depends, of course, on the month and where it is, you know, when you look at the calendar, when semester, the uh, fall semester starts. So we don't have to put anything in there this month. So it's so, so awesome. Um, so we're able to cash flow his entire education, uh, no student loan debt. So very exciting. Um, we're also going to be putting uh, $500 into my car sinking fund. Now we just replaced my husband's uh, engine in his car. So he is going to be good for a while. Um, but I am going to at some point need to replace my vehicle. And so, um, I want to have a minimum of $5,000 in that account because I feel like that could buy a uh, reasonable vehicle. And so anything above that is just extra and that will help, you know, buy a nicer car. So, um, we're needing to beef that up. So $500 in that account. Uh, we're also putting a thousand dollars into our house sinking fund. Um, I want to be able to, from this point on, put, you know, a good amount of money into that account. So it's a thousand dollars, uh, for this month that we're going to put in there. Um, we also are going to create a new sinking fund, which is our car maintenance sinking fund. Matt and I had a discussion about this the other day and we decided that it would be better to separate the car sinking fund and then the car maintenance fund. That way the car sinking fund almost act, acts as, um, like a, a car emergency fund, if that makes sense. It becomes sacred. You don't like dip into it for any reason except to replace a vehicle. So now we're going to have the car sinking fund and then we're going to have the car maintenance fund. So the car maintenance fund is going to be for like oil and, you know, new tires and things like that, that obviously we need for car maintenance. Um, so again, we're going to put $500 into the car sinking fund and then $100 into the car maintenance fund. We're also putting $100 into our Christmas slash holiday sinking fund and then $50 into a vacation sinking fund. Again, that's not for Disney World. That's just for, you know, if we want to go camping on the weekend or just go do something fun um, as a family. So now I'm going to show you our cash box and our cash envelopes for the month of July. Okay, so here's the cash box. And then uh, this is going to be for haircuts. So this month we are going to put uh, $40 into this envelope. And then groceries, we're going to have $500 in this envelope. Okay, 500. And Matt and I both decided that we're only going to do $50 this month for personal spend money. Uh, we usually do anywhere from $100 to $200 a month, but this month we decided to scale back a little bit. Uh, so we're only going to have $50 each this month. Okay, 50 for me, 50 for him. And then eating out, it's going to be $50 as well. So that should cover just one night uh, going out to eat. Okay, right there. And then the envelopes at the very bottom. Uh, clothing, we're going to put $50 in this envelope. And then Connor gets uh, $5 a week. So we're going to put uh, $20 in this envelope. So that's it for the July budget and cash envelopes video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.